Starting from the first principles, we need to create a model that is able to predict movement direction. At the same time, we need to be able to predict movement quantity. And finally, we have others like risk and trade management and even position sizing to be able to create that optimal alpha that we can see here, okay? So principally, we will be focusing on the movement quantity here. And the first definition that comes to mind is what is really a regime shift? So the, there is a simple idea behind it. So we will just go through it. A regime shift is a change on the returns distribution. And we can just uh, analyze it uh, in its more raw format as thinking about volatile and not volatile or quiet regimes. And this is really important to, to start from this raw understanding of the fundamentals because from here, we can create then different buckets uh, to be able to um, fit our model to the different regimes that can uh, arise in the different markets. We, we, we won't have just two buckets, but I'm sure that we will have uh, more than one. And also as markets evolve, we will also have more buckets as we go, okay? because. That return distribution, uh, we don't, uh, we cannot only focus on the on one look back period and not even on just the historical data. And we have need to be evolving as the markets also evolve. Okay. The following question will be why we should care about this change on the distribution and, uh, and on the returns distribution. It's it's much more important than predicting direction. Uh, in the sense of predicting direction, this is something really important to uh, to be able to get to that outcome of creating optimal alpha. But at the same time, it's a more complex task because we have to find predictors. It's not just analyzing the actual state of the markets, but we also need to find some variables that are predictors and that are not predictors uh, are not accustomed or, or are not really historical in their sense, because if they are historical, we are lacking that prediction capability in most of the cases, okay? And related to the second point, this uh, on the why we should care uh, question, it is um, crucial to adapt our trading decisions based on what our returns distribution is, because we want to be evaluative, we want to have a robust alpha, and to be robust, we have to be adaptive to the market conditions and be able to, let's say, not trade, trade less, trade high or trade lower, and at the same time, uh, trade more quantity, trade less quantity, and be able to adapt in ever-changing market conditions. So just uh, going back to our previous video, and finally getting to this change on the returns distribution that we can say that it's really clear that that uh, change on the returns distribution shows the dynamic behavior of the markets in place, okay? That's the practical aspect, and we will just go a step forward on that practical aspect, and it's that, as I said in the first video, uh, many practitioners, a great percentage of, the, percentage of them, they fix all the parameters that they have on their models, and that's not the best approach to create that optimal alpha that you want to see here, okay? So what is the practical view uh, and, and what we will be doing on to the following videos in which we will be coding some algorithms and creating the, the, the real insights about what we have seen onto the whiteboard, it's that all fixed parameters should become dynamic. And this is really clear to uh, go back from this sequential path that we have gone through this video and really see how dynamic behavior is in place. So we should be dynamic and we need to be dynamic to adapt to ever-changing uh, movements and regimes. So. Uh, stay with me in the following videos and we will be uh, just diving deep into these concepts and creating some code to real uh, creation of an optimal alpha model to approximate, as I said in the first video and in the intro introduction, to approximate the actual state of the market and at the same time trying to predict the probability of that uh, state changing to another totally different or maybe nearly different to be able to finally create that um, optimal approach to markets. So stay tuned.